Hi Apple lovers and welcome to my first unboxing and review. This is the first time I've got a new product since launching my YouTube channel. So I finally completed my Mac setup. I got the Apple Studio Display. This was released in 2022, so let's check it out in 2024. Let's start the episode. So before we start talking about the Apple Studio display, let me tell you how I got to this final setup. So I always had iMacs in the past and when they announced that Mac OS Sonoma would not be compatible, I took the hit. I was like, okay, it's time to come away from the iMac even though I do like the 24 inch iMac. However, um, it, it just didn't appeal to me at the time and I wanted a bigger screen size. So I first got the Mac Mini, it did me proud, but ultimately the setup I always wanted was the Mac Studio. Now, of course, I had to get a monitor. So I ended up with getting a budget 4K monitor. Um, I didn't want to spend a lot of money, but I wanted something that would last me a year or two until I had enough money for a studio display. So I ended up with the BenQ EW2880U 4K Ultra HD monitor. Uh, it was a bit unique. It's in a brown and black color, uh, but ultimately, like all equipment you use every day, I kind of got used to it. I didn't mind the look of it, but it was nothing compared to the studio display. So anyway, this saw me through. Um, I ended up switching the Mac Mini to the Mac Studio. Uh, and then finally, I ended up with the Apple Studio display. So I finally got there in the end. So let's talk about the spec of the Apple Studio display. I don't like to go into that much details or, or benchmarking. This is very much about the consumer and the user experience. However, this is a 27 inch 5K retina display, a resolution of 5120 by 2880 uh, with 218 pixels per inch. Um, it has wide color P3 um, and it's kick ass basically. It's pretty much the same display you're gonna get on the iMac 24 inch. It has a built-in camera of 12 megapixels with 122 degree of view uh, and a 2.4 uh, aperture and this supports center stage as well. It also has built-in speakers which are high fidelity six speaker system with force cancelling woofers. It has wide stereo sound and it supports spatial audio. The built-in mic is has a three mic array with high signal to noise ratio and directional beam forming. Uh, this also supports Hey Siri as well. Connectivity wise, it has one Thunderbolt 3, which you connect for the output to the monitor, and it has three USB-C ports. Now I got the base model, which is just standard glass, but you can increase that to nano texture glass uh, for an extra 250. So this is 1,499 with the nano glass is 1,749 pounds. And you do get an apple polishing cloth if you go for the nano texture. So I was disappointed because I, I of course watched videos. I thought I was going to get an apple polishing cloth and the standard doesn't come with it. Um, I got it with a tilt adjustable stand. Uh, however, you can get a height adjustable and tilt adjustable one, but it's an extra £400. I was really debating it. I'm glad I didn't because this fills my area really well and I really don't think I would have used it. So save yourself £400 and you don't get the height adjustable stand. Now you can get it with a visa mount. Now this is also the standard price of £1,499. So unboxing wise, I had the same feeling you always do unboxing any Apple product, the lovely pull of the tab. This was actually a really unique box design. You pulled the sides and it kind of lifted up uh, and out. So it was also very well protected, of course. Um, I was expecting a more of a cloth cover on the actual screen like the iMac came with. However, this was more paper. Um, but I guess that's uh, in line with maybe their environmental um, stuff that they're trying to do to be more eco-friendly. Uh, easy enough to set up, literally one cable. Uh, and of course, because I can't really get to the back very easily, I, I put all my spare USB-Cs. And I've actually, on one of them, I'm using my USB-C to lightning that I have to charge my peripherals here for. Uh, so it's nice to have that rather than plug it in the front of my studio like I used to have to. Once I set it up, it's just a gorgeous machine. Now, Apple has really kept the main philosophy from Steve Jobs 
It's about that user experience and how it inspires you. Um, and this just makes me want to use my uh, Mac even more than I already do. So the BenQ 4K monitor I had was an, an inch bigger, but it really didn't feel that different. Um, however, this display is just absolutely gorgeous. It's it does inspire you. It's so clear. Now, the biggest change for me with the BenQ, it did have built in speakers, um, but they weren't very good. So I very rarely used them. And of course, back in the day with my iMac, I would use the speakers all the time. Now, I work from home a lot. So I'm constantly on video calls. Um, and when people aren't here, I prefer not to use my AirPods. Um, but I couldn't do that with the BenQ. So this has been the big difference. I've had this for a week now. And really for me, just the, be able to use the speakers, which by the way, sound absolutely fantastic. I have um, a pair of HomePod minis here. It's not quite that quality. It's very close though. So it's not as bassy as two HomePod minis, but it's, it's really close. Um, so I absolutely love it. Um, another thing that I've kind of changed in the way I'm using my Mac now, as you can see this iPad here, I often have a TV show or a movie on, on the side. Um, when I'm just sat in front of the computer not doing a lot, I do actually airplay that video now to my um, display. And, and it just looks glorious, especially anything from Apple TV, of course, which is designed to work with it. The audio is fantastic, again, especially with any of the Dolby Atmos um, movies or TV shows in the Apple Store. And another huge benefit that I found with this is the built-in um, webcam. Now, this has been a big gripe for a lot of people. Um, they were supposed to fix it in a software update. They, they kind of didn't, but it, it really doesn't bother me. I mean, I love the center stage. That is fantastic. Um, but ultimately, it really doesn't bother me. I'm not the one looking at myself. Um, and chances are the people that I'm doing video calls with are not on a huge 4K display. Um, chances are they're on their phone or a tablet. Um, and I really don't think it, it, it's made a difference to any of those video calls that I've had uh, in a negative way. Uh, and in fact, what you do get with it is the center stage, which I love. So I think that is a good trade-off and a good balance. So personally, the camera really doesn't bother me um, in a negative way. And of course, in a positive way, it's built in. So rather than having a webcam on the top, unless you spend a, a huge amount of money for one that looks quite stylish, they just look bulky. But now this is a nice sleek setup. Um, the other thing I did, of course, uh, my studio was here. Um, this is just the perfect height to put it under, even with this dock, as you can see. So I changed my setup and now my Mac's in front of me, uh, rather at the side. I think it looks great. I would like to put something here. Maybe I'll get a future uh, dock uh, for connections or something. But ultimately, uh, if you look at all the marketing and actually how they have it set up in the Apple Store, and trust me, I've seen this one a lot in Apple, in Apple Stores. Whenever I walk by one, I pretty much go in just to look at this monitor. Um, they always have the Mac Studio like that. That's how it's designed. I mean, it just looks great. And going back to the philosophy of Still Jobs, it's about how these devices make us feel. And I just feel fantastic using this thing. Um, yes, it's a lot of money. Um, there are comparable monitors, uh, particularly the Samsung Xfinity, um, which is a little bit cheaper. However, this thing's great. The True Tone's okay. I tend to use it in the evening. I don't like it in the daytime. I, I think it's a bit too warm and I like that bright white color. Um, but it adjusts. You can, of course, adjust the brightness on the keyboard. You can adjust the speakers. It's just like having an iMac again. So this, for me, in 2024, if you went from a 27-inch iMac back in the day, this is now the equivalent. And I finally got there after a couple of years from switching out. So I am so happy. So is this 2022 Mac Studio display still worth it? Yes, it is. I don't think they're going to update it any time soon. Um, the gripes people have about it, I think the positives make up a lot more for it. Um, a big gripe is the price. Now, I did get this brand new. However, um, I, I kept my eye on eBay. If you're willing to go secondhand, personally, I wouldn't. Um, I mean, this is going to last me five, six years. If you get it secondhand, it might already be two years old. Um, you might be lucky enough to get it for about a thousand, maybe one thousand one hundred. 
Um, but again, it's going to be used. There might be marks on it. And just for peace of mind, if you're going to spend this much money, I would go brand new. I wouldn't get the height adjustable. I wouldn't bother. Um, the only scenario I can see that is if you work at a stand up desk, that could be handy. I'm so glad I didn't because I was debating it. The nano glass, as you can see, I have windows here. The light really, I see no reflection from it. If you are in a room that does have it, you then get more of a matte textured display. That's up to you. But again, 250 pounds is a lot of money when you're already forking out 1500. Um, you'll know yourself if you have that ability and if you need it. Visa mounted, if you already use them, great. Um, and then of course you can get two. Um, but I could not be happier. It's like anything when you get a new device. I mean, for me personally, when you upgrade an iPhone or an iPad, yes, the first few days, okay, great. Is, but you soon get used to it. And actually the, the experience is pretty much the same because of the iOS being the same. But with this, even after a week, I'm still, it still puts a smile on my face every time I use it and I look at it. It's, it's been something I've wanted for so long and I'm so happy it is here. So thank you for watching my first unboxing and review. I hope you took a lot away from it. And like I said, I'm not about benchmarks or anything like that. that I'll get into technical. This monitor will make you feel spectacular and you will love it. Go and buy it if you're thinking about it, which I'm sure you are. That's why you're watching this video. So thanks for watching. Please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Please follow me on threads and Instagram at Tech Hub UK. And I'll see you on the next one.